Hi again then guys and welcome to another instalment of B-Road Ballers on Forza Horizon 3 in particular and this instalment is featuring one of the straight up best hot hatches in the game. This is one of the few cars that can genuinely give stuff like the Ford Focus RS, even in fully tuned form, a fantastic run for its money. And I'm not even just talking about the 2009 version, it can even give the newer already all-wheel drive Focus RS a good challenge, to say the least. Now, the car in question is, of course, the Audi RS3. You've got some pretty decent visuals to work with, which is relatively unusual for a hot hatch on Forza. And straight off the bat, it's 42 grand. That's a really good price, not just for a hot hatch, but for an Audi as well. Most of the others aren't that cheap. So that's a pretty good start. It's not that much more expensive than the S1. But I would say it's a much, much better all-round vehicle, partially because of the engine options. Now let's break down our individual scores to see just how I consider this to compare to other hot hatches. First of all we have, as always, the handling. And for the handling on this car, it's pretty simple as far as I'm concerned. I'm giving it a full 5, because in stock form and in fully tuned form and everything in between, it's a pleasure to work with. It's beginner friendly, it's easy, the Quattro system is fantastic, and it copes with the performance and the power that it has exceedingly well. It's already more powerful than the 2009 Focus RS was, but has all-wheel drive to help out with it. As far as acceleration goes, well, again, I'm going to have to give it a full 5, because it's already got 335 horsepower and all-wheel drive stock, so it's going to be quick off the line, but when you fully tune it with over a 1,000 horsepower, it is legitimately one of the quickest hot hatches in the game, probably even top 5, if you look at its actual times. So, of course, it's an easy 5. Likewise for top end speed as well, it's one of the very few hot hatches that I am going to give a full 5 to, because like the Focus, this is a hot hatch which is capable of exceeding 240 miles per hour. In fact, this one's close to 250, so it's not quite as quick for top speed as, say, the 2016 Focus, but then again, what other hot hatch is close to that? Still, 250 miles per hour or thereabouts is no slouch at all, and that can give plenty of cars beyond the hot hatch category a good run for their money also. As far as value for money, I'm going to keep the streak alive again with another 5, and the reason why is what I already touched on earlier. For 42,000 credits, you've got a monster of a car. It really has no weak points. The acceleration, top speed, value, handling, everything is so strong. The only potential downside is that people tend to overlook it because it's such an obvious choice. But then again, that's not even a downside in itself, that just makes it a good sleeper car. So for value, it's definitely getting a full 5. And finally, for the usability which the vehicle has, how competitive it is in multiple classes, stock to fully tuned, and also for different types of competition like drifting, drag, circuit, sprint, well again, I'm going to have to round it off with another 5, because it really is that good. If you haven't tried this car, you definitely should. And it's pretty obvious, as a tabulation of the 5 categories put together, I'm giving the RS3 a perfect score of 100. But that's it for this pick overall, I'll see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching.